for Mr. Paige Campbell. Oh my God, keep it going for my dad, everybody, yes. How the hell are we doing, Sandman? Good? Hell yeah, this is beautiful. Uh, anybody else spend their entire 2020 doing drugs? No? All right, hell yeah, all the comics, beautiful. <laughs> I like drugs. Here's the thing. Regardless of how you feel about drugs, because I understand it's a divisive topic, during the lockdown, they all should have been legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hell yeah. It's like, okay, Disney World's closed, then I should be allowed to take shrooms and think my dark-ass apartment is Space Mountain. It's fucking... <laughs> take a look in the mirror, it turns into the flight of fear. It's perfect. <laughs> I love drugs. I'm excited for weed to get legalized. That's happening soon. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, hell yeah. All right. Fuck yeah. I can't wait. Uh, I like to, I smoke a lot of weed. I like to think it makes me smarter. It doesn't though. I have dumbass thoughts when I'm high all the time. The other day I was shopping for video games. I'm a big nerd, just high as shit. I was looking at this game, it cost $59. And I was like, oh my God, if this cost one more dollar, this game would be $100. <laughs> I had that thought and it like immediately made me sober. Like, no, you piece of shit. That's not how money works. Oh my God. I'm vaccinated too, which is exciting. Clap it up for vaccination, yeah. I told my buddy I got vaccinated, and he goes, dude, why? You don't know what's in that. Now, this is a guy I've done a lot of drugs with, and <laughs> that doesn't make sense, right? You can't be anti-vax and pro-drug at the same time. That's not... It's like, dude, we've done shrooms, acid, ketamine. We got all that from a guy in a back alley. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Just once I'd like to see this guy get offered a line of coke at a party and be like, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know what's in that, I can't. Can't fucking. Dr. Seuss got canceled recently, anybody give a fuck? No. <laughs> Here's the thing, Dr. Seuss, regardless of how you feel about cancel culture, he's dead. So canceling a guy who's dead, it's like throwing a shell at someone who just crossed the finish line in Mario Kart. It's like, all right, it's cool, you got him. <laughs> Sure, hell yeah. I'll be honest, I saw it coming with Dr. Seuss. I, uh, if you look at some of his books, like I, I, I grew up reading The Grinch Story, and I, I have a belief, whoever wins history writes the history books. If you look at The Grinch Story without believing anyone's side, the story is there's a village of white people down here, and the only guy who's another color just lives on a mountain. <laughs> there's some fucked up shit going on in Whoville, I feel like. They have like weird stereotypes they say about them. Like, I'll tell you what I heard about Grinches. I heard their hearts are two sizes too small. <laughs> it's like, that's hateful and I don't know what it means. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like his name's probably not even the Grinch. His name's probably like Dave and Grinch. It's just the awful slur they say about him. <laughs> you know, the fucking Grinch lives up there. It's like, that was a hard R man, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Excited to be here. I got back on Tinder today. That was uh, shitty. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. That's one little woo! That's about what Tinder deserves. Like, yeah, it's, it's shitty. You see weird stuff on Tinder. I saw this girl's bio. It said, trying to live my life like Christ. No hookups. That doesn't even make sense, right? You want to live your life like Christ? Get nailed. Am I right, brother? Yeah, hell yeah. Religious people, you spend all your time on your knees, you're waiting for the second coming, just have sex already. I don't get what the problem is. Mm. Yeah, so I see a lot of weird stuff on Tinder. You know what the new religion that I think you see a lot of on Tinder is? I think the new religion is astrology. Do we have any astrology fans here? Yeah? Good, I'm gonna shit on it. <laughs> astrology, it's like the new religion, and I don't get it, because everyone you meet who's like into astrology, they think it's real. They're also super anti-religion, which doesn't make any sense. Like, fuck God, that shit's fake. But I feel like the Little Dipper's got some cool shit to say if we just <laughs> hear him out. Doesn't make any sense. Every girl on Tinder now, hey, what's your sign? What's your sign? I don't know, but I know you're being a cancer on the good time I'm trying to have. <laughs> I, fucking... <laughs> I was on a date recently. It was going fine. We were having a good back and forth. I was getting some laughs, obviously. And <laughs> she cuts me off mid-sentence. She goes, hey, any chance you have a birthday coming up? I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. I do have a birthday coming up. She goes, I knew it. I knew you're a Libra because you've been flirting with me this whole time. It's like, okay, that's one theory. Here's, an, here's another theory. Maybe I'm flirting with you because I'm currently on a fucking date with you. I don't, <laughs> I don't think you needed to phone in Orion for that one. I don't. 
It made me feel bad for her, because it's like, what are the guys you usually go out with do? Punch you in the face and call you a skank? She's like, yeah, but Ares, what are you going to do? It's, it's the god of war, you can't... Mm. Yeah, I just, what I don't like is I don't like the whole shame being attached to sex thing. And I told the religion joke, it's not just religion, it's society. Society tries to make us feel bad for something that feels so good. Like, the walk of shame is a term. You leave a house you have sex in, they call that the walk of shame. That's not shameful, that's dope. <laughs> I've done cartwheels outside of 100% of the houses I had sex in. It's just like, yeah. It's the only time I've smiled while driving home, you understand? It's like, yeah, that was... I think we need to repurpose the term walk of shame. That's what I'm saying. Like the walk of shame should be when you're in a crowded bar, they have a single person bathroom, you just have to take a shit in. It's fucking, there's a line of people you have to walk past, like I apologize profusely, oh my God. I've had four tequila shots, loaded nachos. It's a murder scene in there, I do. I do fucking apologize. Mm. Women also get shamed more for sex than men, which I don't think is fair. Yeah, how do you guys feel about that? Sucks, right? Yeah. I think it's bullshit, because I think women are stronger than men. That's an opinion that I have. Not a very popular opinion, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's close. I think what gives women the edge is periods. Periods are fucking insane to me. Women wake up, they have parts of their body falling out. And they still have to go to their job and like keep their cool if their boss yells at them about a TPS report. It's fucking insane. I've been bleeding for seven days. Can you calm down about the paperwork, Mr. Henderson? Jesus Christ. I don't know. I, I don't like sweeping generalizations. I'm not trying to say all women are stronger than men. I'm not trying to say all men are stronger than women. I think what I'm trying to say is all women are stronger than me. That's... <laughs> yeah. I just believe I have. Because, yeah, I don't know. I get super depressed, and I have no real problems. The day I wake up and there's blood coming out, like, coming out of my wiener, that's the day I'm done. That's fucking... The closest thing I have to a period is once a month, I'm like, you know what? Let's try flossing again. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Horrible. Blood everywhere. That is my time, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Hail Satan. Paige Campbell, everybody.